So we are laying drip tape today on potatoes and I think you might want to see this. I haven't seen it done yet, so maybe you want to check this out. Stick around. So we are going to be laying some drip tape on my potatoes. These are Yukon Gold potatoes I got from Haas Tools. got the seed potatoes from Haas Tools. And um, what I'm using is their attachment that goes on the double wheel hoe. It won't fit on the single or the high arch, but it will fit on the double wheel hoe. Their um, drip tape layer attachment makes it real easy to just string it out and uh, just simple and easy. Now, typically, this setup is going to be uh, is going to have plows on the bottom and while you're laying the tape you're going to be covering up the uh, drip tape down in a furrow. You dig the furrow first, you drop that roller right there down in that furrow and lay the tape in the furrow and cover it up as you're laying it. My potatoes are already up, uh, six inches or so need to be healed. So what I'm going to do, because you don't really want to put uh, drip tape under your potatoes, and potatoes are planted so deep anyway that it's kind of hard to do anyway probably. You want to put the uh, drip tape on top of the potatoes. So what I'm going to do is uh, run on top of the row of potatoes first, uh, leave the tape there. I've got some landscape staples that I'll use to hold the tape in place. And then I'll come back on top of it with one of my wheel hoes, which is uh, already has the, the layer, the attachments to where I can cover it up, the uh, plow attachments, and I'll just cover it up as it sits there on top of the rows uh, right beside the uh, potatoes. I think it should work pretty well. I hadn't seen anybody else do it, but I don't know why it won't work that way. We're gonna give it a shot. So it really couldn't be much simpler. I've already got my main line laid out. That is that right there. And this is the drip tape going down the rows of potatoes. Um, I will attach one of those uh, staples on this end. I'll cut it off about right there so I can leave my, uh, be able to hook up my, my end fitting there. And uh, so I'll put a staple in it. I'll string it out and I'll put a staple in the other side. How about that? Again, I haven't seen anybody else do this, but I don't know why it's not going to work. All right, got it stapled now. Let's string it down to the other end. I'm not going to be able to get right on top of the um, potatoes because I don't want to break the stalk off. So I'm going to the side of them and then I will try to adjust the tape a little closer to the stem of the plant when I get done. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off down here. Put a staple in it. I'm going to try to get it a little closer to those plants before I cover it up. Because remember, I'm going to be healing the, the, the run through with the wheel hose is going to be actually healing the plants. I want to make sure I don't get too close to that drip tape. So I'm going to put a staple in the drip tape right there. Put that in the ground. And I'll start it and do it again on this row. And just basically you're rolling out the tape. In this instance, you what I'm doing here since I'm going to be um, since I'm going to be attaching cutting that off about right there to attach to that um, I'll just cut this off up here put a staple in it that's plenty of room again I'll try to get it close to those plants before I plow the staple in it right about there 
then we'll do the last row. Now, truth be told, I am supposed to um, adjust this wheel right here up one notch if I'm going on top of the ground. So I hadn't got it. I just didn't take the time to do that. So we're just going to do it like this and think it'll work. Run it down here, cut it off, staple it down just like the last ones. And again, try to kick that as close as we can to the plant because I don't know how close those plows are going to come. I've got them set pretty wide apart. May have to widen them up a little bit more. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Let's try the first row and see what happens. I'll just try to stay away from that tape. I've done a good job covering that up. Okay, don't get too close. You're going to cut the tape. Don't get too close. The row wasn't really good, good and straight right there. Now this ground over here is getting a little, a little harder, a little more clay than the other ground. Kind of plowed, but too much of the tater is sticking up. So I'll come back in here. I'll go through it one more time with the wheel hoe and try to throw some more dirt. But if I can't, uh, I'll just um, I'll probably take my wheel hoe that's set up on cultivating, cultivate the middles, break that dirt up, and then just take a rake and and mounted up. I want to get those uh, mounds as high as I can get them because um, the taters are going to grow in that mound pretty much. Almost all your taters are going to grow in that mound. So the higher you can get it, the more taters you're going to get, theoretically. So that's, uh, that's using the tape layer for eh, a, 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 a process or an application that you know, maybe not designed for. It's designed for laying it under the ground. But you can lay it on top. It's got an option for laying it on top. I just didn't set the uh, roller correctly for a, uh, for a ground level laying of the tape. Anyway, again, I will, uh, that can cover it up pretty good. Uh, I get, but the mound's not high enough. I do need to. I've got to come back and make the mound higher. Whether it's whether it's with the the wheel hoe or whether it's with a rake, um, the wheel hoe got most of the tape covered up. I've got a couple of places right there that's not, but it got most of it covered up. And uh, so I'll uh, I'll get the rest of it covered up. We're gonna try to make some taters. These are Yukon goals, and they should be really, really nice. I think so and then I'll show you later I'm not gonna hook this up right now I'll show you later how to hook up uh, in fact I'm gonna do a whole video on, on container using drip irrigation on containers and then I'll uh, also uh, show you how to how to hook up drip irrigation for um, for row gardening and uh, just couldn't be simpler don't be afraid of drip irrigation could not be simpler. All right, I think that's going to do it. I'm out of breath. I'm just catching my breath right now, now, actually. So I think I'll come through here and uh, one more time, try to pile up a little, little bit more and then grab the rake and, and finish it off, get them up real high. I want to almost cover up. I, I would love to just 
I'll, I'll accept just a couple of little old leaves, just a little bit of green sticking up. I'd love to cover that up real, real deep. And uh, this will, again, not be the last time I do it. Got to do it until it's done, until I can get them as tall as I can get. If I had two foot mounds, that just tickled me to death. Right now they're about eight inches, so I <laughs> got a long way to go. Got several times of doing this. Every time you, every time your potatoes come sprout up through the, through your mound, you put your mound up. Every time your potatoes spot up through the mound, three, four, five, six inches, cover them up, cover them up. All right, that's it. Covering taters, healing taters, in the big garden. Everything's coming up pretty nice too. All my plantings made it through the freeze, coming up pretty good through the frost, rather. The almost frost. All right, that's it, we are gone.